A very good day to you and welcome to the program. I want to ask you today, how is your heart? Is your heart painful? Are you mourning? Have you lost a loved one? Has somebody gone to be with Jesus and you feel all alone? Or you may be sitting in a prison cell. Or you may be in a hospital bed. Or you may be doing contract work in another country and you're missing your family. This message is for you. I read an anonymous saying. It goes like this. The loneliest place in the world is the human heart when love is absent. The loneliest place in the world is the human heart when love is absent. Now, this love we're talking about, where do we find that love? Well, folks, God is love. If you look at 1 John chapter 4, verse 8, in the back of the Bible, the Lord says, He who does not love does not know God, for God is love. I'd like you to read 1 Corinthians chapter 13 after this message, if you've got the time. It's 13 verses. 1 Corinthians chapter 13. Probably the most famous chapter in the whole Bible. And the most famous verse is John, the Gospel of John, chapter 3, verse 16. For God so loved the world, that's right, that He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in Him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. You see, that verse in itself shows us that our Father is a giver, that our Father is love. You see, it's one thing to tell somebody you love them, but don't tell them you love them. Show them you love them by their action. You say you love your husband. Well, then be faithful to your husband. You say you love your wife. Look after your wife. Look after the children. Discipline them. Feed them. Clothe them. That's love. Don't lie in your bed there all day telling your wife that you love her, but you can't get out of bed and go find a job. See, love has got feet. Love is a doing word. Love is a verb. Okay? Love is a doing word. And this is what Jesus says. Greater love has no man than this, than a man would lay down his life for his friend. That's what Jesus did for me and for you, if you love him. He died for us on the cross of Calvary. You'll find that in the Gospel of John, chapter 15 and verse 13. I want to read a quotation from a very famous heart surgeon. His name was Dr. Martin Lloyd Jones. Dr. Martin Lloyd Jones was a heart specialist. And then he became a preacher because he fell in love with Jesus. And he said, if you claim to love Christ and yet are living an unholy life, there is only one thing to say about you. You are a barefaced liar. <laughs> now that's quite strong, but he's quite right. And that's what's keeping a lot of people out of the church. They say they, they love God, but by their actions or lack of actions, they deny Him. Titus chapter 1 verse 16. Folks, we need to start living the life. We need to start walking the talk. We need to start loving people before we try and beat them into the kingdom. You can't lead anybody to Christ and neither can I. Only the Holy Spirit can do that. But what we can do, we can assist them. How, Angus? By having so much love in our hearts towards people that they come to us and they say, we want what you've got. And you say, well, what have I got? No, there's something about you. You've got a loving spirit. You're kind. You're gentle. You're generous. You're loving. We want to be like you. You and I are ambassadors for Jesus. And our credentials is one word, love, spelled J-E-S-U-S. -S. Goodbye. We trust that you have been blessed by today's message. For more information, please visit angusbucken.com.